Let's go to Mr. <laughs> it, it's really funny, man. Um, the Eagles have been blown away by Mr. Hertz's uh, athleticism. And you, it really makes you wonder because between the Eagles and the Packers, where they brought in these really athletic young quarterbacks in situations where the starter is pretty much a known entity, not like, you know, not like they're bringing in a new guy, you know, it is a new guy and he's, everybody's sort of on the even keel. But these guys have real athleticism and, you know, in the Eagles case with Carson Wentz history, um, it's going to, he, he might actually see some playing time. I know he's got a soft tissue injury right now. Let me throw out that I'm going to make a statement real right here. Normally injuries play a part in any season. This year, the medical report between COVID and injury, I think is going to have a bigger impact than ever before. Guys are not even making it out of this preseason well. <laughs> and I mean, we're talking hammies and groins and tissue injuries and knees. And I, I'm just, I keep getting this long, all of these alerts every time somebody is out. I looked at my own, my own Niners. Three of my defensive linemen are questionable at this particular point. So it's going to be real interesting as we rank the teams, as we look up. And that's where the Sterling Net Point Power Ring is going to be what it is. It's going to be a real factor because, you know, whatever they're scoring, that, you know, that's going to be your signal as to what kind of team they're actually able to feel, you know? So it's going to be very interesting. But um, what do you think about uh, Mr. Hurts? Uh, Jalen Hurts. I like Jalen Hurts. He was a really good college player. But not all good college players become really good professional players, at least not in the NFL. However, um, that caption above his picture that you had put up there also said not only are they in love with his athleticism, but also with his intelligence. And I think that's a big deal. I mean, let's face it. Uh, when you talk about big time college football, it doesn't get much bigger than Alabama and then he transferred to Oklahoma. So um, I expect him to be very well versed in reading defenses, although there still be a learning curve because NFL defenses are a little bit different. And obviously the talent level is different, but uh, I expect him to adapt pretty well. And I would say that if in fact, that's not just the smoke screen that they're throwing out there or that they're just praising him to make somebody feel better. Um, I believe that Carson Wentz will probably be traded within the next three years. So although you haven't heard that, the same kind of talk coming out of the uh, facility at, down in NovaCare as you've had uh, coming out of uh, the facility up in Green Bay, where people immediately felt like Aaron Rodgers should feel threatened for some reason, even though of the top 10 quarterbacks, and I assume Jordan Love came in there somewhere in that top 10, he's probably the biggest project out of all of them. So I don't know why Aaron really would be worried, and obviously he said he wasn't. Um, Carson Wentz, on the other hand, mm, I, I mean, as long as he can stay healthy and stay on the field, he's probably safe. But he can't afford to get knocked out midseason, end of the season, playoff, whatever, like he did before. Because if, in fact, this is not a smokescreen, that they really do love his athleticism, which what's not to love, and love his intelligence – and he's coming along, and he's making the best of the reps that he gets in practice and all that. At this point, as much as I hate preseason games, I would love to have at least one preseason game to, just to get a little look at him. But, yeah, Carson Wentz better start um, 
Yeah. You better watch yourself. <laughs> All right. Carson Wentz, you've been told. Thank <laughs> you.